Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a special birthday unboxing. Um, birthday for me, at least when I'm recording this, but probably not when you're seeing this. But anyway, the point is I've got a birthday present right here. This was sent to me by my sisters. I guess let's get it open. By the way, I love the, um, this is just tape. This kind of emulating a ribbon here. And then it's got a little message here that says a gift from your sisters and and uh, a bow. So very cute, but uh, I'm anxious to figure out what this is. So let's get it open. There's the top and then voila. So it looks like we've got a cleaning cloth. We've got some strings and we've got a tuner. And then we've got, oh, looks like we've got more. There's a strap and, oh, there's more. What is this, a pickup? Looks to be a pickup. Um, and some picks. Okay, that's everything. And then we've got our gig bag here. Uh, it says Molucky. All right, I'm gonna set the gig bag off to the side. Oh, it's a, I know what this is. This is a, I'm guessing this is a banjo ukulele. Get the rubber band off and get the uh, foam off here. Yay, there we go. It is a banjo ukulele. This is my first banjo ukulele. I have never played a banjo ukulele or unboxed one or anything. But let's take a quick gander here. So this is, Malucky is the brand name, and I've never um, I've never owned one of their instruments. Um, in typical fashion, it looks like it's got the bridge up here. Let's see if we can get that off, banjo style bridge. There is our bridge, and um, for placement, it's got this little placement gauge. I'm not sure how well you can see this here. Let me pull it out. It's got this little placement gauge to help you uh, place the bridge accordingly. Okay, so if you've never done this before, you just kind of slide the bridge under the strings and then you turn it to an upright position. Line up the bridge with the mark on the gauge here on the guide. There we go. Then this should be able to be taken out. We don't need this anymore. And then you just make sure all the strings are snapped into their appropriate grooves. And Voila, we should have a banjo ukulele. First of all, it has blonde wood, which is unusual. Usually you see the darker wood on these banjo ukes, um, but I do really like that. Um, we have the closed gear tuners up here at the top. Of course, the traditional sort of crown shaped headstock um, with the Malucky logo, which appears to be wood burned in or maybe laser burned or something like that. We have the fifth fret marker here is a star instead of a dot. And then we have dots for the rest of them. We've got um, what looks to be a um, artificial skin head here. It is Remo branded, so this is actually a Remo head. I don't know if you can see that logo or not, but it is Remo branded. And then of course we've got the drum and the drum has a back on it. It looks like it's got a few screws here that you could take out if you wanted to have an open back, which I may do because I do tend to prefer an open back. And then we've got the uh, hook and lug system all the way around here that um, allows you to tune the head. Okay, I got her tuned up, and by the way, if you have never tuned a banjo ukulele, you tune it like a standard ukulele, like a concert ukulele, not necessarily like a banjo, so it's tuned GCEA, uh, similar to a concert ukulele. Now, these are brand new strings and a brand new head, which do tend to stretch when they're new, so this may go slightly out of tune um, as I'm doing the demo here, because it is, it is fresh, but it does sound plausibly in tune. So I have never tried to play a banjo uke before. I'm not really sure what to expect, but you can hear there. We do kind of have a little bit of a banjo tone, a little bit of a ukulele tone. Let's, uh, let's play something, see what she sounds like.
hopefully you can hear it does definitely have kind of a banjo sound. I mean, it's got that kind of plunky, sort of tinny kind of sound like a banjo, but it does also really resemble a ukulele. So if I played something kind of more Hawaiian, So it does kind of have that versatility where it kind of works for that ukulele thing or that banjo thing. So kind of a neat little instrument. I think I'm going to probably have a lot of fun with this once the strings in the head kind of settle in. That might take a couple days. This actually would be great for claw hammer because you still have the high string up here, you know, closest to your face like a, like a typical banjo. Now I am not much of a claw hammer player. I've tried it a little bit and I really haven't practiced it at all. And that's one of those things that really truly takes practice. But if you're good at that, that claw hammer has that kind of pluck, scrape, thumb thing and you can. Again, I am not the expert at it, but you can see it would work really well for that because you still got that uh, droning G string. So it's very similar to like a traditional banjo. So, you know, if that's what you're into. So I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but it does have the sort of uh, tied tail piece here, like a typical banjo where the strings go through and tie there on the bottom. Um, and it, it definitely has a vibe to it. It's kind of like a banjo and kind of like a ukulele. And I guess that's why they call it a banjo uke or a banjo lele is another thing you might hear these referred to as. You can probably search for either one and, and find some of these. So there you have it, folks. A quick, uh, you know, kind of unboxing demo of this here. Molucky banjo ukulele or banjo lele as they are often called. And uh, special thanks to my sisters for sending me this super cool birthday present. So... Very cool. I'm sure I am going to have some fun with this. Thank you for tuning in and watching the demo. And if you like what I do on this channel, I would really appreciate it if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, go ahead and give her a big old thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.